people do these type of things, implanting magnets in their fingertips, are they building off of their existing senses? I wonder if there are other sensory inputs and sensory modalities out there that we can't even imagine because they have no relationship to our existing senses. Yeah, so actually in my last book, Livewired, I broke down three levels of things. There's sensory substitution where you can, let's say you go deaf and so you feed the information in through, let's say, touch. Mm. You're just substituting one channel for another channel. But then there's sensory, sensory expansion where you're saying, okay, look, this is, you know, I see a little bit of the electromagnetic spectrum, which we call visible light. But th that's actually less than a 10 trillionth of everything that's out there. So you've got radio waves and x-rays and gamma rays and cosmic rays. you got all kinds of stuff going on. And so you can pick up on that, for example, by pushing it through your skin. And you can expand your vision that way. But then there's also sensory addition. We're adding things that are totally new, like a perception of the stock market or what's going on on Twitter or um, which way is north. Um, all these things are senses that you don't currently have. And it's not an expansion of something, it's actually a new piece of information. And the interesting part is how easily the brain will say, oh, okay, cool, that's informationally relevant, I'm going to add it in there.